What's up guys, welcome back once again to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel where we teach you everything that you need to know in order to make a profession from live streaming or content creation in the gaming niche. And today we're going to be looking at how you can set OBS up so that it automatically switches scenes based on which windows are open. Now the most common use case for uh, needing to switch scenes automatically is for games that have two separate programs, one which is sort of the client and arranging and the lobby and the second which is the actual game that you play. Um, games like League of Legends is probably the most popular that has this kind of client and game side uh, programming and we can set up OBS to automatically switch based on which one is open. Specifically what we'll be learning in today's video is uh, how you can set OBS up so that when the game launches it swaps to a certain scene, say, say your game scene, and then when the game finishes and the game closes you can get OBS to automatically switch back to the uh, client scene. This helps prevent those embarrassing moments when you forget to swap to the right scene and you know your chat is just watching your client whilst you're playing the game. This can also be useful for people that are um, not using games but want to swap scenes based on which program they are highlighting. So if you have multiple monitors and you're doing you know, a stream uh, where you're using applications on each monitor and you want OBS to automatically switch based on which application you have highlighted, this can also be useful for that use case too. Now, I know this might sound a little complex, but I promise you the setup is actually super simple. So let's dive in. So for this video, I'm going to be using uh, League of Legends as an example, since it's one of those games that has a separate program for the client and a separate program for the game. And I know many of you watching probably don't want to stream League of Legends, but this is also a useful exercise to watch and learn as you can apply it to any two programs or any number of programs, not just League of Legends. So what I would recommend doing if you are setting this up for something like League of Legends is opening up your client and starting a training game just so that we can have both the client process and the game process running on our computer. I'm just going to change my game settings so that it runs in a smaller window resolution, just purely so that it's easier for you guys to visualize exactly what is going on. You don't need to do this, you can leave your game running at full screen or at full resolution. I'm just purely doing this so it's easier for you guys to understand. Once you have both the game and the client running, let's go into OBS. In OBS, I'm just gonna quickly create my two scenes. My first scene called Game is gonna be for when I'm actually playing the game. And my second scene called Queue is gonna be for when I'm in queue or when I'm in lobby and I want the client to show. In my game scene, I'm going to capture the game by going to my sources, clicking the little plus icon and selecting game capture. I'm going to name this LOL game and click OK. Then I'm going to make sure that the mode is set to capture specific window and the window that I choose is this one, which is League of Legends.exe, League of Legends trademark client. Now don't ask me why Riot, who are the developers of League of Legends, have decided to name the game process League of Legends client because this makes absolutely no sense since it's not the client, it's the game. Really here, I guess you just wanna be focusing on what the executable name is, which is in square brackets, which is leagueoflegends.exe. That is the right process, so we're gonna select that, see our preview update with the game preview and click OK. I'll just make this full screen in OBS by pressing Control F. Next, we can move into our queue scene, and here we are going to add the actual client by going to sources, clicking the little plus icon and choosing window capture. I'm going to name this LOL client and click OK. Here we want to select the right window to capture, so we are looking for the one which is called leagueclientux.exe, League of Legends. You see here the executable name is the client. Click OK and hopefully we should see our client appear in OBS. Now obviously at this stage I would recommend that you style this scene so that it's a little bit more interesting to look at for your viewers, you know, whilst you're in queue or whilst you're in lobby, but for the purposes of the video this boring scene will do fine. So, you should now see that we have two scenes that we can swap between. Our queue scene, which shows the client, and our game scene, which shows our game. Now it's time for the clever stuff, which is to set up OBS so that it automatically switches between them. How League of Legends and most other games that have two separate executables work is that you have the game executable, which is only launched once a game has been found and your lobby system with, you know, your picks and bans has finished. Once your game has finished and you've either won or lost, the game executable gets closed and you'll return back to the lobby client with your post-match results. So what we want OBS to do is to automatically switch the game scene when it finds the game executable running and as soon as the game executable stops running we want to come back to our queue scene with our client. 
So how we're going to do this is we go up to the Tools menu and select Automatic Scene Switcher. Here we can select which window we want OBS to be looking for and which scene to swap to when it finds this window. So here what we're going to do is we want OBS to look for the League of Legends game which remember is stupidly named League of Legends Trademark Client. And I know that this seems super counterintuitive because it isn't the client, it's the game. I'm sure someone at Riot must have been half asleep when they named them. And when OBS finds this game, we want it to switch to our game scene. So we select that over here. Next, down in the options, we want to choose what we want OBS to do when no window above is found. So since we want OBS to swap to our queue scene when the game isn't running, we will set this to switch to queue. Now a little caveat that's worth noting here is that this will work for my current setup since I only have two scenes. But if you have other scenes like a, you know, a stream starting soon scene or maybe you have a scene with your webcam full screen or anything else that you want to use, then this setup won't work because it will always swap to the queue scene when the game isn't running and always swap to the game scene when the game is running. So if that is the case for you, what you want to do is to add another automatic switcher which is looking for the client which is the window called League of Legends and we want to switch to the queue scene when that window is found. Then you can set the when no window matches option to don't switch. You can also here change how often you want OBS to check for the window title but you can absolutely leave this on the default, it seems to be fine for me. And finally you can start and stop the automatic switcher. Worth noting that once you have started it, it will stay switched on even when you restart OBS or when you restart your computer. So you shouldn't ever need to come back in here and start it again. Now finally, let's test it. I'm just going to make sure that we're on the queue scene and then start another game from the client. Once the game launches, we should see OBS automatically switch to our game scene and display our game. If we now quit our game, we should see OBS automatically switch back to our queue scene displaying our client. And there you go, it works perfectly. Seamlessly automatically switching scenes in OBS. Now as I said at the beginning, this process will work for any number of different windows. And it doesn't have to be League of Legends or it doesn't even have to be a game at all. You can have OBS automatically switch scene based on whatever window you have selected or open. Hopefully now you can avoid those embarrassing moments where you don't remember to swap scene when your game launches and you now have something set up with a little bit more automation so you don't always have to be changing scene yourself in OBS or by using hotkeys. Finally, I would just like to say thank you very much to the patrons who are supporting the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. Um, these guys are helping out by pledging small amounts, um, getting little perks back, but really thank you so much guys for supporting the creation of these videos for the greater good and everybody else that's learning to stream. Finally, if you haven't yet joined our Discord, I would highly recommend doing so. We have nearly 200 members now and they're all helping each other. We're all talking about how you can make a career out of gaming, helping each other with live streams and content creation, as well as just general chat. So do join our Discord if you haven't already. And subscribers, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.